Hey, Catherine here with Diamonds on Canvas. So this is that video. Um, so this is Diamond Dots, and Diamond Dots came out with a new, um, uh, it's a. It's called a, the Masterclass series of diamond paintings. And um, it's, it's not a class, right? It's, 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 it's their master series. And Diamond Dots has been around for a long time. Uh, they're one of the first companies uh, to do this and they've stayed in there too. Um, they've been in business doing diamond paintings for a long, long time. And um, so this is their master series. And what is so cool about this is that the smaller the diamond, the smaller the graphing, the less pixelated, the more real, the more smooth, the transition in color, right? It's like looking at a picture, a real picture that doesn't have all those dots, right? And that's what diamonds are. They're, they're small, well, dots of beautiful resin diamonds, but we want to give that picture, that image, that painting, that flash and that sparkle uh, without all that pixelation. And so in a prior video, I spoke about this. It's not the size of the painting that makes it less pixelated. I mean, yeah, if you're gonna stick with one size diamond and you're gonna, you know, then yeah, the bigger you go, the less, less pixelated. But if you make the diamond smaller, so you make them smaller than, you know, the regular, the normal diamonds that we're seeing, right? Then you have a more clear uh, picture. It's less pixelated, smaller diamonds, mini diamonds, and that's what they have here. So this particular picture is that uh, picture, image, painting of a ballerina. And um, the skin area of the ballerina, including her face, has these mini diamonds making up that part of the painting so that it's less pixelated. Again, more clear, that seamless transition. So you can see the face and you can make out those features much better. So we're gonna take a look at that in this video, the smaller diamonds and the bigger diamonds because part, part of this diamond painting is your normal size diamonds. And then the face and the skin area coming down the chest into the, the arm area, arms, you've got mini diamonds. So we're gonna take a look at that. I'm gonna open this up. Be right back. Hey, so I just cut the band uh, on the side of this box so that I can pop this open. But I wanted to show, just in case you didn't see the first um, part of this video, um, there's a they've got a nice handle for this box. This box, this is like this is like almost like a suitcase. I mean, this is, and I don't mean that in a funny way. This is um, the the box that they used is is sturdy and it, it's protective. Um, this is something, this is just really nice. The presentation of this is really, really nice. Oh, so I'm gonna turn this around. And as you can tell, this is, this is, this is big. This is rather, rather large. So I wanted to get it in the camera. Here we go. Wow, this is nice. Um, we're gonna take a, a look at what it says on the inside of this box, right up in here at the top, you can't see it. Um, you will see it in just a moment, but it says here, add some sparkle to your world. And uh, it says diamond dots, and then down here, you know, it says take care when opening, avoid folding, um, avoid folding past 90 degrees. Okay. Okay. Anyways, so I'll show you what it says at the top. Here is where the canvas is. Look at the, the canvas comes in this silky um, sleeve and everything is separated here, as you can see. Um, we're going to take a look at the canvas, Different. obviously. Um, stylus is here, 
your different multi-placers. You've got your, it looks like one kind of fell out, but this is your wax over here. And over here, right, you've got your diamonds. Um, and it's just try, we're gonna get up close, but here, you know, your regular size, you know, diamonds. This says 80-20 on it. Uh, we'll take a good look at this. And then over here, pull one out. These are those really tiny diamonds that I was speaking to you about. And I think you can probably see the difference, right? You can probably see the difference in the size of the diamonds. And if you can't, that's okay. We're gonna take a real close look at this. I'm gonna bring you down off the tripod so we can take a look at these diamonds and compare them. And you can see, I can see the difference. So you will definitely see the difference. You've got your tray. Um, yeah, it's all it's all done for you. you. You just open the box, take out your canvas, and you start diamond painting. You don't have to kit it up, you, you know, or anything. And of course, that's always really, really cool. But then you've got the whole concept of the mini diamonds over here. And um, again, wow, that's really, really cool. That is so cool to make things less pixelated. So, and, and to, to do the painting, and of course I'm gonna show you guys um, the painting as I get it done so that you can see that. I'm gonna try to do the painting a little bit different. I'm not gonna go from bottom to top. I'm gonna try to get it to where I'm, you can see that transition of when it's your normal diamonds all the way up to the face so that you can see um, how it becomes different. So, let's take this out of here. Very nice. And the, the sleeve also says, add some sparkle to your world, diamond dots. Oh, this is really, 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 really nice. Okay, the canvas comes with one of these tubes just to keep the canvas so that the canvas keeps its shape, I should say. And then, okay, so then we have the actual canvas. Um, this canvas, it feels, um, it, it feels like a polyester uh, canvas, a mix of polyester and something. It's got like a flocking type on the back. And um, I wanna open this up the right way. Um, their brochure, Diamond Dots, has always had, you know, a brochure that explains uh, how, to, how to diamond paint um, and, you know, the tools and what comes with it and, and in a lot of different languages as well. So that is their, and they've had that type of brochure for, for quite some time. Okay, so the diamond painting. Okay, so I am opening it up the right way. Again, I'm gonna take you guys down off the tripod so that you can see all of this better. Um, but just initially open, opening this up, again, it's got like a flock, uh, flocking on the back. It's a mix, definitely a mix of polyester and something. Um, it's got a stiffness to it. Um, let's see here. See that these are the regular diamonds. And then it could be down here that these are your mini diamonds, but I'm not sure. We'll, we'll, we'll figure that out in just a minute. And in opening this up, so at, you guys are probably pretty familiar, everything looks basically the same. So at the bottom of the diamond painting, you've got ballerina and butterfly dress, and it gives the design size, which I believe it said 23 inches, 23.4 inches by 23. 0.4 inches. The design size itself is 20.3 inches. So, um, and in and, and taking a look at that, of course, I have to look. So the adhesive, wow, that's nice. So the adhesive is not on this colored background portion. It's right up to those symbols and it stops. And that's really good because then there's no bleed off, right, of the adhesive, where when you're diamond painting, things get caught on it, right? Your sleeve, right? Your, you know, anything on your hands, lotion, uh, hair, fuzz, cat hair. So that's nice. So the adhesive does go, this is a, this is a, um, a poured glue. It is not a double-sided tape. 
So, and anyways, and the actual paper itself is nice and thick. So, and in looking at this, and looking at this, I and we'll we'll get closer, a lot closer, but you can see where your normal diamonds go. The grid itself is bigger, right? You, I mean, you can see that even if you don't see the actual grid, which you will in just a second. Even if you don't see the actual grid, you can see that this area is bigger and that the diamonds are bigger, even up against next to her skin. You've got these butterflies, they look bigger. Then the skin itself with all the different shades and the transition of the skin tone in different areas, creating shade, right? Uh, creating those shadows. You, there are different colors obviously that do that, but it's so much smaller than this. And it, just looking at it, my gosh, it's gotta be half the size of a regular diamond. And these diamonds, right? Your regular diamonds are small enough, right? They're small. Cut that in half and that's what this looks like. These are definitely mini, mini diamonds. So um, I'm gonna take you down off the tripod and we're gonna get really close to this and we're gonna get really close to the actual diamonds so that you can see the differences in the size in the diamonds. And we'll take a better look at and close up of the, this kit as well, just how they've put it together. All right. Okay, so here we are. Um, all right, so um, in just in saying this, when I, when I um, you know, took the canvas out and I was taking a look at it and I unrolled it, the first thing I saw is that this is a partial diamond painting. So this is not a full drill. It does say on the side of the box, it says um, dots full, um, uh, forgetting the wording right now, uh, full dots is what it says. And to me that meant it was a full drill. When I completely you know, opened it up and took a look at it, obviously it isn't. This is a partial. So you've got your background, right, that does not have diamonds on it at all. A full drill obviously is when you have diamonds from corner to corner, so the entire painting is covered in diamonds. So I wanted to, to um, uh, fix that. Um, I misunderstood what it said on the box. To me, that's a little confusing, but that's neither here nor there. Um, it is a partial and it's still, it's still just as beautiful. Partials are beautiful. Normally on a partial, the face area, the skin area would be just like this. It would have no diamonds on it at all. And Diamond Dots is known. They've, they have a lot of diamond paintings that are partial diamond paintings. So they've got, you know, beautiful diamond paintings. They've got that beautiful background um, that does not have diamonds. But then, the, you know, certain things in the image do. And her dress, as you can see here, the butterflies all have diamonds. But this time, instead of making the skin like this, you know, just like painted, you know, just like um, it's, it's, it doesn't require diamonds, they made this area those mini diamonds, as I had explained. Uh, but I want to, we'll get closer to this, but I wanted to explain that up front. The tray. So I have one tray. The box says, on the side of the box, it says there's supposed to be two trays in this box. I don't, I've looked all over, I took it apart. Um, I only have one tray. The spot that the tray comes in looks like it would take two trays. But again, I only had one tray. So just to say that it's supposed to have two trays. Now, as far as this grid here goes, this key, the top is divided with You've got your minis, so your mini diamonds, and then you have your regular diamonds. They have that key on both sides of the painting, so you've got your minis on the bottom, and you have your regular size diamonds uh, on top. Um, okay, so taking a look at, I'm gonna get up close here. And I already have the diamonds out. We'll take a look at those diamonds in just a second. Um, so here you can tell, you can see the grid and you're seeing both grids side by side. You've got this grid, 
that is your normal size diamond. I'm up real close, so I'm magnifying that. And you can see it's a, it's a bigger it's a bigger diamond, right? It's your normal size diamond. And as you slide over here, look how tiny those diamonds become. And this is the mini diamonds that they're speaking about. And if I had to guess, this is like half the size, if not smaller, right? Than half the size of this. So then, then again, so you, you are going from a bigger size diamond and transitioning off into a smaller, much smaller, and they're calling them mini diamonds, so that you can capture, right, the, the details in the face and in the skin. So you've got shadows that are created right? When you're, when you're painting and when something, and, and just, you know, when you're looking, right, at somebody um, or an image, you see shadows. She's got shadows on her chest, underneath her chin, where you find these shadows and these, that, that transition, right, of color, thus creating those shadows. She has her hand up by her face. She's kind of like cradling her face. And you can see where her hand, right, touches her chest. And in this area, there's a shadow, but it's an easy transition of shadow, so becoming a shadow. So it's like less shadow, more shadow, dark shadow. And so it gives it that that 5D really, really cool um, realness, you know, real to life uh, appearance to that image. And that's what they've done here. And that's what's so cool here. And I spoke about this. It's not, it's not the size of the painting, right? If you're gonna use the same size diamond all over the entire painting or the entire image, then yeah, you, you've got, you, the bigger you go, right? The bigger the, the, the painting is, the less pixelated it becomes. But if you can, you know, change the diamond size like they did here, you still have a 20, uh, 20 by 20 inch diamond painting but you're still getting that detail, even though it's 20 inches by 20 inches. You don't have something that's 36 inches by, you know, whatever, 27 inches. You have uh, a diamond painting that is smaller. You know, we don't always want huge diamond paintings, but even if we did, even if we did, these areas, the face, anything like this that requires it to look real, like real. Yeah, that's where you're going to stick those smaller diamonds and have a smaller graph there to hold those diamonds, right? So that they sit on it and so that there's not a big amount of spacing between it. Because diamond dots, um, they use round diamonds and I think it's primarily round diamonds. I don't think I've ever seen square diamonds with diamond dots. I could be wrong, um, but at least at one time, they were just all round diamonds. This particular painting is just round diamonds. And so you're gonna, once you place it down, and we all know about this, you place it down, that coloring that's on, you know, uh, behind the diamond, right? On the sides of the diamond that go all the way around the diamond needs to match the diamond. And when you have a tiny diamond like this, this becomes, what I just spoke about, becomes less of an issue, right? Because it's so tiny. So it's going to blend. And it's going to, there's less of a space between each diamond. Because, again, it's tiny. The graphing is tiny. So, and in diamond dots, they, they've achieved this here. I mean, I... I haven't done it yet, um, but mathematically, and when thinking about it, right, it is something that makes sense. And so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this painting, I'm gonna start it over here. So I'm gonna start with the bigger diamonds, and of course I'm gonna go into the smaller diamonds. I'm gonna make a video so you guys can see, see the difference, obviously, 
but see how all of the shading and shadow and the eyes, the lips, that those details that you see on a person's face that makes them unique and them, that bring, really brings that out in a painting. I want you to be able to see that. I've been talking about this. I did forever. make a video recently, um, a couple months ago, about the same thing. And it was just one video, and I'll link it. If you haven't already seen it, it'll be linked here on this video. But um, yeah, so Diamond Dots did this, and that that's really cool. That is awesome. Okay, and so here you've got the plastic. I kind of pulled it up. It's a thicker plastic on this painting, um, but it's not too thick. You know, it's not like those real thick, thick ones. And it's definitely not paper thin at all. So you're not dealing with, you know, plastic that's going to um, flip on you. And then that's obviously an issue if it flips on you. It can get really stuck on the painting. Um, the plastic, it, probably most of you know, the plastic is different from side to side. So the bottom part of the plastic sticks to the painting. It's got a different type of coating on it than the top part of the plastic. If you get the top part of the plastic turned around and it sticks on it'll stick on the painting and you'll have a hard time getting it off just to say that hope that makes sense and in saying that right so the adhesive you're not going to see it here and you can barely see it but it stops right here so it stops right after um that diamond like like it's just right there centimeters so you don't have it pouring out this is not a double-sided tape, it is poured glue. So it's a poured adhesive, and it's not, it's not spreading out onto the canvas where, you, where, you, where you're not gonna diamond paint. It's not out here onto the canvas. It actually very nicely stops right at the diamonds. So you don't have all that stickiness in here where you, know, you, you get fuzz and you get hair and you get, you know, your shirt sleeve, you know, stuck on it while you're diamond painting. You don't have any of that. They did a really nice job. The adhesive stops right where the diamonds stop. Okay, so we're gonna slide on over here. Bring that plastic bag. I'm gonna slide over here and we're gonna take a look at the diamonds. Now I, I put out um, the same color diamonds. They're kinda my tray is sliding here. And you can see. I'm gonna stick it like that. You've got your, you've got your minis, which is right here. I'm sorry, which is right here. And you've got your larger diamonds, which is right here. And we're gonna get up close. These diamonds look like they are resin diamonds to me. Um, I, I can't remember if on the box, I'll put it in the description since I can't remember if they said these are resin or acrylic diamonds. Just looking at the bottom side of these diamonds, they, they don't look like acrylic to me. It looks, they're flat. The acrylics have like a pit, like a dimple inside of them. These are 26 cut from what I can tell. And over here are the minis. So I'm gonna back this up so you can see them side by side. And you can see, you can see the difference in that size. They're so tiny. These are these are minis. So to the right of your screen, you have your normal size diamond. To the left, you have a tiny, tiny diamond. Look how tiny that is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick one of these up. Okay, so I'm back here and I took a regular size diamond right there and put it. This is also right up here, a regular size diamond. I just didn't flip it over. I'm sorry about this, guys. It's sitting on the plastic. Um, so you've got your regular size diamond here and you have your small. This is the minis. So you can see what a huge difference in the two. It's like, it's like less than half the size. There's a better, that's a better shot right there. It's um, very, very small. And this is what is going on um, this particular color is going on the lip 
area. So the mini, the mini here is going on the lips of this particular, the ballerina's lips of this particular painting. And this one is um, going on, it looks like the butterflies, the dress. Again, this painting has large diamonds and mini diamonds. Look at the difference in that size. Gosh, I wish I could get a lot closer than that. I can't, it just gets blurry. So all this in here are your minis. And then that one right there is a big one, your normal size diamond. I mean, that that's tiny guys. It's, um, the, this is just, this is just, this is just so cool that they did this. It's awesome because this is what really is takes away that pixelation and adds the dimension and the shadows, the transition, and it's an easy transition. It's an easier transition of color, creating depth. This is just awesome. This is just so awesome. The one thing I do wanna point out as well, so on the, the canisters, you're gonna see um, the, this particular color is 820. And you're going to see on the mini canister, which is up here, has the same color code on it because this is the same red. This is the same red, right? When you're looking, and just to say this because it can be kind of confusing. Um, I, I don't want to say it's confusing. It's explainable and then it's not confusing. So the top part I said to you as your normal size diamonds. Over here are your mini diamonds. If we slide on over to the face, and we're gonna take a look at her lips. In her lips, we're gonna, this red right here with the arrow, right? We know this is the mini, this painting, this portion takes the minis. So we're gonna look for this arrow. We're going to go down to the grid, the key on the side that is on, you know, that is on the bottom portion. And again, that's why they divided this up. We're going to go over here and we're going to take a look for that look um, at the key and we find that arrow. Then we go to our minis, our mini diamonds, right? And we look for that number, 820. So I'm going to go back again just to show you. 820, right? And we're going to go to our minis. And we're going to um, we're going to look for that color. Look for that number. Here, 820 in the larger size. So if you go on over to your grid and you're looking for 8020, it's a check mark. So if you go on over to the larger part of your painting or the, the larger diamond portion of the diamond painting, you'll see, let me just zoom up, you'll see the check mark right here. And you see the check mark in different areas of this painting. And you're going to use obviously that, um, the larger diamond in that color on the larger portion of the painting. The only thing for me um, in just saying this, first of all, I wanna, I wanna say this kit that Diamond Dots did is absolutely stunning. It's creative, it's, it's well thought out, um, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It is gorgeous. The box, the canisters, um, it's already packed up for you. You've got extra canisters right there on the bottom. You've got you've got your minis. You've got your your larger diamonds, your regular normal size diamonds. Um, all of this is stunning. That beautiful handle on the box. This is a great gift. This is like it, this is just beautiful, beautiful. The fact that it's not a full drill diamond painting is not a big deal at all. And maybe somebody, right, will come out with a full drill diamond painting that is all minis. That would take some time to do. And in that case, right, we'd probably want a smaller painting because it'll take a little bit more time to do. 
because the diamonds are smaller. It'll take more time to fill up an area. But in saying that, like over here, where I was speaking, this is your, the top part. So this top grid is your larger diamonds. And it says A07. Oh, and by the way, there are special diamonds in this kit. There are, um, I'll show you them in just a second. Where it says A07, right? I would have put that on this canister. So you couldn't mess them up in any way. The 820 are minis, these tiny mini ones. So you got your 820 large, 820 minis. If we go to the bottom and you see 820 right here, I would have put on this canister, the mini canister, I would have put 820, just like it is labeled here, 820. So your mini, is labeled A20 and your large same color, right, is labeled A7. And to make it easier, you might want to get a little magic marker and you could do that. You could you could put that on your canister. Um, magic marker does wipe off with alcohol after you're done using the canisters. Um, they, they have, I don't know if this is going to, what they have, the stamping here. I don't know if that's gonna rub off with alcohol or not. Um, that's to be experimented with, I suppose. You could try it. But if you use a magic uh, marker, like a Sharpie, and you put A7 or A20, just to help you keep these straight, um, you know, that I know will come off with alcohol when you're done using the canister. There was something else I wanted to say about that. And I'm not, I don't remember it right now, but we're gonna go on over here for just a second because I do wanna show you um, that there are special, um, you know, Aurora Borealis diamonds in this kit as well. So you can see it says 5006 at the top right here, and you can tell that those are special diamonds. So anyways, they're beautiful, it's gorgeous. And again, just to say this again, your top key is your normal size uh, diamonds. There is also your normal size Aurora Borealis. So special diamonds are on this top part. So all your normal size diamonds is the top key. All your mini diamonds are at the bottom. And from what I can see, it doesn't look like, no, actually, there you go. So you've got a mini diamond right there that is Aurora Borealis. I'm gonna open this up real quick for you if this isn't getting confusing. So here's your larger diamond. This is an Aurora Borealis as I just showed you in the prior clip. And this is its mini. This is its, I don't know, mini me, right? It's the exact same color. It's just that it's the mini diamond and it is a mini special diamond. That's awesome. So they've got the mini diamonds in Aurora Borealis, making them special diamonds as well. Mini diamonds to me are, they would be special diamonds just because they're minis, but they actually made the mini diamonds, some of the mini diamonds into a special diamond, which means the Aurora Borealis look, and you can see that there. I'm gonna get much closer. Look at that. How beautiful is that? You've got your mini Aurora Borealis and you've got your, your normal size diamonds in Aurora Borealis, same exact color. And again, saying this again, and I just wanna keep pointing this out because it was a bit, I don't know, I don't, I don't know if it was, it just took me a minute to kind of put together. It's the top key that is your normal colors. So this color right here is 5006, right? And you're gonna find 5006 right here in this, because it is a normal size diamond. It's right here on that top key. This one right here is a mini. It is also 5006. That just means it's the same color. They're just, they, they put the color um, code on these canisters. So you come down to the second portion or the second part of the key, 
the second bottom key, you go down and you will find 5006 right there. This one's a K, right? And the larger one is this kind of, I don't know, um, empty arrow, right? Flag type thing. And again, I, you know, if I were diamond dots, I would have just done it a little bit, a little bit different since we have things that are the same color just that one is a mini and one is a normal size, I would have added to this, right? So the larger one, I would have put a 17. And for the mini one, which is the same color, 5006, I would have put a 32. So one would have been a 32 and the other one would have had a 17 on it just so that the painter couldn't mess this up when they were placing the diamonds but if you're paying attention and you know and i don't mean that in a in a funny way but the minis are only on one part of this painting so that kind of catches you too it's like oh i'm working on the mini portion of this painting so i need to be looking for mini diamonds so i'm going to go to that bottom grid that bottom key to look for my colors but again just to make it easier I would have I would have put that on the canister I would have put these as they numbered them I would have put them also on the canisters as well so it wasn't messed up or mixed up but this is beautiful if there was I mean and I there's not one negative thing about this I mean other than I guess maybe the way I would have you know divided up or coded I guess the canisters a little bit differently um, and really not that much different. Um, other than that, I don't even think that's a negative. It's very easy to figure out, but um, uh, yeah, there's no negatives about this. This is absolutely beautiful. Diamonds Dots did a really nice job. Look at all those extra containers. Anyways, really nice job. The canvas itself. It is a, a mix of a polyester. It is not a full polyester, I will say that. Um, on the box, it just says fabric canvas. So they're not saying it's a polyester cam canvas or anything like that, but in touching it and feeling it, it is a mix of polyester. It's stiff. Um, I don't wanna say, I don't wanna say paper, um, but it, it is stiff and um, yeah. So it's not a full polyester. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, this is really, really cool. Diamond Dots, you did a really nice job on this. Uh, I can't wait to get started on this. And guys, I will show you this. Again, how it transitions from the bigger diamonds to the smaller diamonds and how that detail becomes more, more detailed, right? Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see y'all later, guys. Bye-bye.